have never seen the internal Google system, which you did today, the MOMA, MAMA interface, which is the access mode that will be available to you probably within 12 to 24 months. And also, I want to ask Mark to come up. He's Thank been you. quiet. Yours did. And uh, that's only because really he was out late with me last night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I would like to do is uh, ask a, a question uh, let each of the people make a brief comment and then hopefully you will have some questions and can jump in and spark the discussion. So my, my first question uh, is directed at, uh, I'd like Ram to answer it, uh, Arpan and then Mark, is that I come to a lot of these briefings, so what, why should I believe that Soma can do this stuff? I don't know so much. I hear this all the time. So, Rob, how how do I how do I know that you can deliver? Well, you know, this really goes down to the commitment. Uh, there's a saying that a larger ship takes a long time to change course. Or uh, in that terms, being smaller and nimble makes a lot of difference. And the commitment is, I am here myself. Uh, you know, I am the CEO of the firm, uh, the president. There's a lot of business that needs to be done. But I'm right here uh, at this presentation to show you the commitment I have. And I've got a team of experts out here too. It takes a lot of commitment and it also takes the right size to make things happen. So that is something that really uh, differentiates us as not being a huge giant that takes a lot of time. Sometimes even after making the decision to change, it cannot happen quickly. That is not the case with us. I'll refer to our technical folks, so uh, you have a little bit more. Arpan, uh, you used to be a former teacher, educated at the University of Chicago in the MBA program. Well, I think I, 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 I want to have you tell me why you think that the SOMAC team can, can make this happen for a government entity or a company. Well, I think it's the nature of uh, how we've structured our offering and our approach. I mean, I, I, I've, I've, I've told you briefly about it, called it three S's, if you will. So you've got, you lead with strategy, which is we have information no one else has, and we're willing to sit down, educate, sort of bring you up to speed, um, mm -hmm. keep bringing you that information collaboratively. Um, the next step is software. We've got proprietary products, uh, one example of which we showed today, that will bridge that gap, work with your existing systems, take advantage of uh, uh, what you have, save money, uh, move forward uh, and you know respect sort of some of the agendas that obviously take time to change. The third is services. Um, this is where I think we differentiate ourselves in that many people will lead sort of with services. Um, we're prepared to drop in bodies to do X, Y, and Z for you. Obviously we can do that. Uh, it's not what makes us unique though. So. Uh, however, clients will ask, well, this is wonderful stuff, but I've got this immediate problem today. Can you help me with it? Well, of course we can, and we can get those folks on board. I could have Mark elaborate on that, but uh, I think that's what makes us uh, unique as our approach, and as Ram said, the size. I have a, I don't, I mean, you can call me a techie just because of my interest in this stuff, but I, you know, I come from a world of mergers and acquisitions, m and this sort of thing, and uh, it just brings a very different perspective uh, we have, uh, you know, more of a forensic sort of accounting and due diligence training, and I think that adds a different type of layer than just going through the motions of yet another IT deployment. Now let's think strategically about this first, and then move forward. So, all right, I'm going to ask you two questions. Okay. First question is Arrington at TechCrunch. Did what? Sure. Uh, with the Ripley software um, that Arpan just briefly gave a high-level overview, uh, we went ahead and said we felt that uh, we had a very strong case in terms of not only this technology, which is very appropriate for government agencies and things of that nature, but for the enterprise as a whole. So we went ahead and made a submission to TechCrunch 50. For those of you who are not familiar with TechCrunch 50, uh, is probably one of the leading technology startup. Uh, platforms and conferences in the country right now. 
So we made our submission among thousands of others, and we made it as a semi-finalist to that. And we were actually invited in order to uh, demo our software there. And so uh, that was more uh, of a validation of our particular direction in terms of the software, our approach, and uh, we had a great deal of confidence. So that was question number one. And then number two is how do I know that you will make this stuff work sure. for a government agency with a specific mission and sometimes those missions are not designed to cooperate with other government agency missions. Mm -hmm. How do I know you can fit into that environment, sir? Sure. And so, as some of that, we like to think we're pretty smart. But uh, we don't have all the answers, obviously. So that's one of the reasons why we partner with some uh, other companies. And, uh, for instance, we partner with Lockheed Martin in terms of going at a particular business that's associated with uh, real-time information in the human terrain. And we're partnering with other companies such as Acura Solutions, and there's others that we partner with. And so I think that is a key that we have at SOMAN is that we identify that we have very strong technology that we can bring, but we can also play well with others and provide a complete solution to uh, the, uh, the various government agencies. That's a good answer. Thank, Thank you. you. That TechCrunch 50 is actually a pretty prestigious award. And you know what's funny is uh, Mark and I, Do they we have met any questions? Uh, in sort of outside commercial ventures years ago. And I, I dragged him and I recruited him out of uh, Ford Motor Company where he used to uh, uh, design vehicle simulation systems and whatnot for the last nine years. But uh, I said, okay, let's put, let's put this to work on something more interesting than Ford Foci, if that's the plural for Ford Foci. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little car, though, big from Detroit. I, I'll give it a thumbs up. But anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> I've had one of those, too, but um, <laughs> no, I'm still a new electric but, but anyway, the, the point I, I is... Know about that. It's very funny because you enter TechCrunch 50, people dream and they want to be a semi-finalist and all this, and they're looking for VC money. The minute we're not interested at all in venture capitalists or Silicon Valley, we get chosen. <laughs> it doesn't do me any good out of Silicon Valley now. So, you know, we have a very different set of applications for it, which is the government. So. Let me ask a Robert Steele question. What Does anyone else have a question? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we're going to get to you. And, All right. Uh, Obviously, I'm part of a plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, there are people in here who can ask tough questions. Let me ask you one. What happens if a government agency <coughs> does not respond to the real-time information flows and they're uh, executing a mission? What, what's the downside of ignoring that, sir? You follow Wall Street into hell. Uh, because that's it. I mean, Wall Street has been pay playing a crapshoot with Americans. There's a wonderful book written in the 1980s called Liar's Poker, Mark Lewis. And Wall Street has basically been betting on the IPOs, and then they hand off all the risk to the public. And the government chose not to pay attention through political corruption. Uh, from my point of view, the good people trapped in the bad system called the U.S. government have one option and one option only and that's to get a grip on information and use that information in the public sphere so that the collective intelligence of the public can help make things right and I published a book, I took my name off the cover, a very young bright PhD called Mark Tovey in Canada, 55 authors including the former Prime Minister of Canada I am absolutely as certain as anything that the turn the US government needs to take is back toward being in touch with the public and public information Thank you, sir.